everyone's talking about Syracuse and their 100 inches and, yeah. oh, they're going to get the Golden Snow Globe Award or whatever the heck it is for having the most snow in the bigger areas, but... <laughs> Move over, Syracuse. Have you been to Redfield, New York? We have uh, Carol Yurden on the phone. Is that how you say your last name, Carol? That is correct. National Weather Service weather observer for 21 years. Wow. Yes, that's right. After 300 inches of snow, you think you'd move somewhere else. Oh, no. you you got to embrace it. you got to make the best of it. It's what Mother Nature sends you. So the average for Redfield is like 288 inches. Right. So we can definitely say we're above average already, which is always a good year for above average. And like February is is your month up there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We seem to be a little strong in, uh, you know, late January, first February back in 07, we had like 140 inches in 10 wow. days. This year we had a storm that brought 122 in 10 days. So it seems oh to be a little heavy God. midwinter. And what's the record in Redfield? Our record is 424.25, and that was back in 96, 97. So you're nine feet away. Just nine feet, just under nine feet, and it would just shatter the record. So how long do you usually see, see, I mean, is it rare to see snow in May, or is that normal? Oh, no. I mean, we have the famous Mother's Day snow, as they always speak of it. Um, Once in a while, like the record year, honestly, our last snow that year was April 19th. So we definitely stretch a little bit into what people call spring. So beating the record's a very big possibility this year. Well, it is. I've been hearing from some very intelligent scientists and meteorologists that uh, we're going into kind of a warming trend. So I'm getting a little nervous, but we have the whole month of March that we usually get, you know, possibly five to six feet anyway. So it's still a possibility. Well, so now if it gets warmer, see, I thought that caused more problems because it's, it's you know, being picked up off the lake, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, as long as it, and, you know, with the temperatures and stuff coming off the lake, they always tell me I'm in position direct for a dump off Lake Ontario. So that's where all mine comes from. So it could be good, but, like, next week with temperatures 45, 50, with our snowpack, we probably won't hit over 40 most days. But it's still, I don't know if it'll set up those exciting lake effect bands in March for us, but I hope so. I mean, you're the only one I know that's excited for this much snow. Well, there's nothing else you can do except complain, and I don't like to do that. (laughs) While the rest of us are shoveling our driveway, you're in Redfield shoveling your roofs. Exactly. Yeah, that's it is a lot of work. I mean, I do try to put a little positive spin on it, but trust me, it's a lot of work. We have a six foot blower behind a tractor. We shovel our roofs and it, you really have to keep up with it or you, if you get behind, there's going to be trouble. Now for for uh, new uh, folks, uh, can you give us an idea where Redfield is uh, located? Well, I am in what I consider North Redfield. So I am up uh, pretty much about 1,300 feet. So, again, like I said, it's right on um, 17. Um, Just I'm about 10 miles east of, uh, I guess, Sandy Creek, that area. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's it's not that far away, but yet you can drive about 10 minutes and be in a total different weather pattern. Yeah, we actually lived in the uh, Adams area for a few years, and I guess we didn't realize it at the time, but we would have been there. 96 and 97. Yeah, so. that's true. Absolutely. Yes, and there's there's always been um, a, a chat about, you know, the records, and there's always been years, I'm sure before I started doing this, that they had a lot of snow, and that was the word in quotes, a lot. But nobody actually <laughs> measured it and kept track. I'd so, say 300 is a lot. <laughs> You, yeah. mu- you must own, like, skis and snowshoes and stuff to get around. Absolutely. I Actually, I lean more towards the snowshoes. I enjoy the snowshoeing and done a couple races up here. You know, we're close with the Winona Forest Trail system and all that. So, um, yeah, you got to get out again, get out and enjoy it, because looking through the window, of course, I can't see out my window, so you got to <laughs> go out. <laughs> wow. That's well, amazing. Thank you for joining us this morning, and we'll cross our fingers that you break the record because it sounds like you want us. So. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's been my pleasure. Thank you so much. Stay it's, warm. Let it snow. <laughs>